Welcome to the 173rd broadcast of the T-Row Show. It's your host, Keith. We've got a lot to talk about again today because there's a lot going on in the country. Although what we're dealing with is a lot larger than what most people deal with because of the situation that we all find ourselves in as of today. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about the Rothschild family. Not too much, just uh, let you know what action that has been taken by the government of the United States of America. Folks, what I'm trying to tell you here is this. Uh, the society, when you call it an American society, that society was set up by the Rothschilds. It wasn't set up um, under any kind of social compact, so therefore it's illegal. However, it was set up for, uh, uh, for them. It was not set up for you. You're just a product within that society. It's called the product of human conception. If you go look at the definition of live birth, that is the definition. Go look at the state definition of live birth. That is the product of human conception. So the Rothschilds believe people are products. And that's just how they are. They've been in charge for uh, a very long time because people didn't realize actually how they did it. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you a little bit of how they did do things. Then we're going to show you a way out. Today's going to be your way out. All members of the Rothschild family are hereby charged with slavery in all of its forms. So after the letter was sent to the Rothschild family, we had a link there. We sent them a letter last, last week. Uh, the Rothschild family decided that they would, uh, they did not have to answer to anyone on earth, which is what was expected from all of them. Okay. I've lived with people that have wherewithal. In other words, they've got, they had money and all that kind of stuff. The way some of them live is, is, um, they buy a brand new car and uh, it's not like they get everything for free. They do buy things uh, and they buy a brand new car. If the tires wear out, they trade in the car. They don't get new tires. They've never set foot in a grocery store, so they don't know what, what's there. The cook or the chef or the housekeeper goes and does all the grocery shopping and decides what they're going to eat and all that. They don't pick out what they wear. They don't even know how they got what they have. People go do all that stuff for them. So you have to realize how people like this think. You're a tool to them. You're, you're um, um, an asset, um, collateral, collateral for debts. Right now, um, hospitals are being paid, what, 39000 and some $13,000 for COVID people, products to come in. And uh, that's part of the $2 trillion and, and, uh, and the, the so-called relief fund, which, folks, we have the continental dollar. You're, you're choosing right now to suffer. Just letting you know, you're choosing to suffer. You don't have to. You're just choosing to do it. <clears throat> We're trying to fix a lot of the mental problems. A lot of these are mental barriers that you're working with. We're trying to get you out of that. After all, the whole family are heavily involved in Satan worship, or in other words, Jekyll worship, which is the same as yin and yang a philosophical concept of dualism in ancient Chinese philosophy. They work very closely with the Chinese. The Federal Reserve was created on Jekyll Island in the Georgia colony within the state of Georgia in 1910. Remember, we talked about the Georgia colony, not the state of Georgia. For many years, including the club era, the island was spelled Jekyll. The Georgia legislature in 1929, which is the Rothschild family, uh, Georgia legislature, which is the what? Not the state of Georgia legislature. This was a, uh, this was a, a quote. <clears throat> it was the colony legislature passed legislation to correct the spelling to Jekyll that is used by the former sponsor of the colony. It was a rich friend. So they just, you know, give him some uh, stuff. The federal reserve is heavily involved with China, which is causing a lot of violations of the law of nations. Further, the Federal Reserve, which, by the way, the, the China has been buying these bogus 
uh, bonds, theft, and all that kind of crap. They don't have no, they have no idea. This is further the Federal Reserve have been classified as Jekyll worshippers, meaning that it was covered within the Chinese religion known as the uh, uh, Taoist religion, a sphere. I, I believe that's it. Also covers the Illuminati Satan worshippers. The Federal Reserve is not under a Christian sphere. So what that means is, is that every religion and every form of belief over a country becomes a sphere or a cover for that country. So what this means is that the Rothschild family worships the devil, wherein it is known as to recognize a jackal, which is supposed to be the son of the devil. This means that the Rothschilds worship a trinity in hell, the mocking of the trinity in heaven. And that's what, there's the sir whatever his name is. And here's the spirit cooker. She's a Satan worshiper. Both of them are Satan worshipers. And this is a painting that depicts on how to uh, how to summon a demon. That's crazy crap. And you'll notice that right here on these face covers for has 666 on it. These are masks that they uh, hand out. So this Rothschild family is trying to do the will of hell on earth while channeling demons. Happens all the time. Slavery is not far-fetched from the family members, and therefore all members of the Rothschild family are hereby charged with slavery in all its forms by the National Assembly for the Government of the United States of America. Now, what that means is, is that slaves are products. They're things. They're stuff. They're no longer, they're just property is all they are. So what I'm saying is, is that um, they believe you as a product of human conception, so you're just nothing but property to them. So you're not going to get anywhere in this world until you get past that one move, which is, first of all, let's start talking about the fact that I'm not property. I'm not owned by anybody. My body doesn't belong to somebody. Okay, we got to get to that, that point first. If we can, if in, on the world stage, if we can get past that, then you've got yourself a country. <clears throat> but we haven't gotten past that yet. Even Trump is owned as a product and a slave by the Rothschilds. Even the bankers are. So they haven't freed themselves yet. So further, an international arrest warrant has been issued for Bill Gates and of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. We did this a long while back. We just decided to uh, publish it. <clears throat> so that's one issue that we all had to get around. Now, this is the health departments. Now, the we're, we're dealing with um, we're dealing with uh, medical, uh, we're dealing with a, a communist party controlling and have taken over the whole medical industry. So it's not necessarily the doctors that are doing this. It's the communist party that took, took all that over. The, and don't think of the Democrats as Democrats. They're communists. They're, they're socialists. They're not Democrats at all. Totalitarian more than anything else. So don't think they're, 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 uh, what they're doing right now is they're doing it as a uh, being vindictive because they've been, their way of, of living or, or uh, thinking has been rejected by the country. So now they're punishing the country. And that's why they're doing all this crap. Um, and they're, they're about to get themselves, you know, shot uh, in a revolution. They, they, they better watch it. Because once that starts, man, it's going to get nasty. And I don't know if we can stop it, but we'll see. We'll see if we can do it. I'm just going to challenge the country to do that. I'm going to show you something that has been set up for you. It's going to help you out a lot. If anyone contacts this newspaper that any one of the health, in the health, of the health departments within any state, now that's a colony right there, right? the state within a state, it's a colony within a state, that violates the right of assembly and the right to work, because in the UDHR you have a right to work thereby using the local sheriff's department for said enforcement of right of assembly violation, right of right, right to work violation shall be punished in the following manner. A 100 year common law lien shall be published against the said department or departments involved in said tyranny against inhabitant, triple the amount of any citation and fine. Okay. Now these departments are going to have, uh, they're going to have uh, United Nations agencies within them. We'll find that agency. And they'll have it within them. 
Um, and that's the agency that will, will, will attach because that's where these orders are coming from. They're coming from the totalitarian party through the Democrats and Republicans into the agencies that are being uh, operated, that were created by the Senate. Okay. The inhabitants shall be the beneficiary of said common law lien. That's you, anybody that's seen this, and shall have the ability to shut down said tyrannical health department with a common law foreclosure process and service upon the local title company. Anyone being harassed by anyone that has, as it pertains to the health department or center for disease control, so-called medical advice that violates the basic human rights that all enjoy or hereby notice. If any said health department uh, employee that is too scared to not ignore the aforementioned medical advice, which is all fake, by the way, this whole thing's fake and made up, is advised to self-quarantine for the rest of their life if so desired. In other words, uh, we'll just give this notice to the, the, the gov uh, governors. They keep trying to scare people when people say, no, we don't want this stay-at-home bullshit. You said 14 days. It's been 14 days. That's it. So you, now you're not going by your word. Now we know you're a liar. So they'll come back and say, well, if you do this, this, and this, you're just going to kill a lot of people. Well, then keep your ass home. If you're that scared and you're the big wuss, you stay home. All the medical workers stay home. Everybody else stays home. Don't open your hospital to anybody because you said that, right? Everybody's been staying home with the COVID crap anyways. And we know that you're faking the numbers. Everybody knows you're faking the numbers. Everybody knows that this is all created out of thin air. And everybody should know that all the governors, more than likely through a trust, are invested in this whole thing, in some sort of vaccine that is where the patent is owned by um, Bill Gates and Fauci and the rest of the uh, uh, buddies, which we got a picture of that and everything, everybody else has seen it. And we know that you, this, that you all have, have, uh, have invested in this and you got to keep it going to, so uh, you got to push it until the people finally break and say, fine, we'll take your vaccine if we can just go to the freaking store and eat, which everybody knows what kind of tyrant, tyrannical assholes you are, that you don't really give a flying crap about people. You're just doing this to make them suffer so they'll accept your freaking stupid vaccine that's going to kill them anyways. And your stocks go up. Everybody knows this is going on. This is nothing new. It's all over Facebook. It's all over Twitter. It's everywhere. You, get, you have no, no, no standing whatsoever. Everybody knows you're freaking lying. So if you guys think that you're going to get somewhere with this, all we're going to do, all the government's going to do here is lean up all your shares. How about that? We just give a nice $500 trillion lien on all the shares of the pharmaceutical companies. Would that motivate you to go ahead and give up this BS that you're doing? I think it would because you're going to lose all that investment money anyways. I'm just letting you know. That's what's planning on happening. Um, it'll probably be Monday night. We'll go ahead and do a motion to lean up all that stuff, and we're going to get a lien against you. Common law lien, it's a 100-year lien, so you're not going to enjoy any of your shares. You're not going to enjoy any profits from your shares. And guess what? All that lien that all that money and everything, any profits or anything, going to go back to the people that you screwed with, that you ruined their freaking lives. That's where it's going. All the victims, that's 320 million victims. Have fun with that, guys. All participants. Um, <clears throat> all right. All participants of this Quash the Tyranny program is free to screenshot this notice in its entirety and serve it upon the tyrannical party. Any additions to the or modifications to this notice is hereby not recognized. So if somebody takes a screenshot or tries to change this and put their own crap in it, that's not recognized with us. We don't, if you changed it, then we're not gonna listen to you. Anyone suffering citations or other tyrannical harassment are free to con contact this newspaper on the contact page. So just go on up and go to contact and let us know. We'll ask you some questions. We'll need the proof of the, uh, of the ticket. We'll have that lien written up within 24 hours and published. Should be within 24 hours. Hopefully you don't get, you know, overrun here. Uh, let's say uh, 72 hours. 
and give us maybe a week in case we get overloaded with them. Okay, and all those will be right here, international bills, outstanding balance. We're gonna start including what people believe themselves as US citizens, of which you're not, by the way, but um, you believe it, so whatever you wanna believe. <clears throat> um, we're gonna we're gonna open some doors up for you guys too. We're gonna help you out a little bit. All right. Now the American Medical Association is now under investigation for the international crime of genocide. So this is actually fairly interesting. It says the follow is a list of following is a list of ethics as written by the American Medical Association. Please keep in mind that the association is nothing more than a club in a legal capacity. It's an association. That's all it is. It's just a private club. There's the, those ethics. When a patient comes into any hospital, now we saw this on, on video. Everybody saw the videos where no one was in the hospital. That means nobody's getting operated on, right? Those that don't have the coronavirus are not getting operated on. Because I remember them saying for the first couple of weeks or so that they canceled all the freaking operations and all their priorities and, and resources were going to just this. But I think they all ended up with uh, the nurses doing dance routines and all the doctors doing dance routines. So a lot of resources went towards that. Um, and putting those videos out on, on, uh, on YouTube because they were so busy, you know, they were so overrun. Lying ass Cuomo. <laughs> communist Cuomo is what he is. I told you he was communist. And when they had a picture of his daughter with his grandmother, had a well-known communist on the back in the back of the picture. I told you the man was communist. It says when a patient comes in in a hospital, the priority is taking care of the coronavirus patients because all the hospitals have suspended all other life-saving operations. And that's exactly what they've done. They, and, and, and that's why they're empty. It says when this type of condition occurs, the people are technically dead because of the coronavirus. When it is written in their death certificate that they died of the coronavirus. So technically, yes, it, they died because that was the cause of death, the, the coronavirus, because the life-saving operation was suspended because of the coronavirus. So technically, in, in a legal sense, they're not, um, they're not uh, doing anything, or they're not filling out the paperwork uh, uh, falsely, per se. It's only a lawyer can figure that one out, right? <clears throat> okay, so it is in the section that reads cause of death. The cause of death was because of the coronavirus when the coronavirus took priority over all of the life-saving medical procedures. So right now, you know, if you go in there, they're going to check you for this and check you for that. Uh, if you have any so-called symptoms without even testing you, they throw you in a freaking incubator and you could have something completely different. Not even have the virus. So that's, we call that medical malpractice, but uh, uh, on one hand, and on the other hand, you call that genocide of a people because you're not uh, performing these life-saving operations. So technically, when the doctors suspend life-saving operations, they are failing to act wherein they are just as liable as acting and making a mistake. A lot of doctors and nurses are coming out and telling the truth. Uh, a war of attrition is the same as attacking civilians in an act of war. And technically, the U.S. is at war with the coronavirus. We put this out and then they come back today and says, technically, the U.S. is at war with coronavirus. <laughs> I put it on there. Helped us right out there. It says, when a doctor sets aside real patients because of money qualifies as an ethics violation. So that's because they're getting 13000 and 39000 if they get a guy on a ventilator. Uh, when the hospitals are, were completely empty and have been empty for the last couple of months, and the only people we see are nurses waiting at a table to check you for a virus and nothing else, that is a systematic genocide because all other life-saving procedures have been withheld and or suspended. Technically, the American Medical Association are not attacking people with the coronavirus. So there's no medical malpractice there. They're not attacking those people. They're right on that virus. They are indirectly attacking everyone else that does not have the coronavirus under a war of attrition, withholding life-saving operations, and therefore under investigation for international crime of genocide. Because please notice that a lot of doctors and nurses are coming forward to witness against this war of attrition. They know this is BS, folks. Everybody else knows it's BS. 
and therefore are immune from any suit as witness and no one uh, and no one who is in violation of the aforementioned international law or I mean it's not one is in viol uh, who is in violation of the of the aforementioned international law it says the media is complicit with this war of attrition against their own neighbors so these guys that are lying like there was another guy I think his name was Cuomo in CNN he had a um, a, a life-saving moment when he basically said, look, I don't like what I'm doing. I'm putting this crap on every day and I don't like it. Any war of attrition committed by a private membership association qualifies as a nefarious act and therefore without any immunity from liability. So people sometimes ask me, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, you guys talk a lot. They, they say, well, they're not going to listen to this. You don't have a police force. You don't have a military and all this kind of crap that they tell us. However, last week, I believe that uh, we said on the T-Row, <clears throat> or I said, um, I can't believe how quickly people gave up their rights. Seven days later, folks, actually six days later, how many people are out on the streets and protesting? Think about it. I was the only one saying it. It, not even Infowars was saying it, that we needed to ramp this up. It was the only one saying, I can't believe how quickly people gave up their rights. Just that quick. And I even heard it on the thing, uh, on the, uh, the, some, you know, attacks on, on, um, on faith or, uh, YouTube. And obviously I'm not going to post those. If you attack me, I'm not going to post your stuff. Just give it up. And your attack doesn't mean crap any, anyways. I just don't post it. Um, because I don't have to listen to it. It's the reason why I do it. Uh, uh, but six days later, all of a sudden, you got people. Now we got a whole weekend. So somebody's must be listening. We must be making some kind of difference. So, anyways, um, this right here, uh, uh, this this is some serious international crimes being committed by doctors, AMA, uh, politicians running this thing, all that kind of stuff. This is really really bad, folks. They're attacking the people. They're atta they're trying to kill you. Is what I see happening. Sad. So um, here we go. I'm going to introduce you to the. Uh, States of the Union Society. I'm going to make sure that this gets changed over. Okay, so what we did was this. With the Rothschilds, they don't, uh, they're the most powerful family in the world. And uh, rich, the richest family in the world. It's too bad that they worship the devil, right? They could have been doing a lot of good things for the world, but they obviously went the other direction, so we all know what's going to happen to them after they leave this world. <clears throat> they create a society. They don't create a state or a country. They create a society within those countries and states. That's how they get rid of them. Right now, they're pushing for... Um, uh, getting rid of the nation states and national governments. Which means that the government of the United States of America, even though it does not necessarily have to be recognized to be able to have a right to do what it does, which is written in the OAS Charter and the Law of Nations, they're going to push the society. They will recognize societies. So what do we do? We just created another society. One that is foreign and separate and equal station to theirs. So now you have a place to go from under the original jurisdiction of the United States of America, 1781, 1774 Union. It is the social side of the American National Union. American National Union is the business and commercial side of the state. And the States of the Union Society is the social side, like Facebook, Twitter. Uh, this is where you go to church. This is where everybody gets to know each other. Uh, here, it's where Harriet met Sally. It's the society. Okay? This is where all the family things happen. It's where you have garage sales. And this is where you have, uh, you know, the local businesses falls under the union jurisdiction. This is all the rest of it. Everything else. The social side and all that. So introducing the States of the Union Society. We just called it the States of the Union Society. Now, we did open this up to where 
there's the states of the union society. If you want to create your own society within this jurisdiction, the original jurisdiction, first in time, first in right, and you want to name it, you can. We have the constitution. You just change it around. If you want to name it, put your own seal on it. It's all yours. It's within the United States of America. It's no longer within the United States or under the Rothschild family. I don't want to be associated with people that worship the devil. I don't want to be anybody that wants anything to do with that. I'm not going to support them and I'm not going to make profits uh, for them and all that kind of crap. So they can commit more tyranny. Like Bill Gates is doing right now. Part of the Rothschild family. Okay. So. Here's the seal. This is attention. The States of the Union Society is in its own separate and equal station. We do encourage others to join, but creating your own social sphere is supported. So if you want, you know, it's, it's, uh, you don't like the name States of the Union Society and you want to start your own society within this sphere, within the followers of the way, within uh, the uh, American National Union, 1774, you don't even have to do a resident declaration and claim a nationality if you don't want. This is for U.S. citizens too. You want to do that and create and reform your society? Here it is right here. You got your own, your own constitution. Okay, the, their constitution is over on the uh, general post office dot international. It's uh, actually national great registry dot general post office dot international. I N the spelled out international spelled out. Okay, so it is required to sign a social compact agreement. We've got to make it legal because in the law of nations, if you don't have a social compact agreement, you don't have a society in order to register as a citizen of the state to the Union Society or other or to form your own. For a full explanation, click on this link. And you can click that link. Whoops, that one actually didn't work. I'm going to have to go grab it. Um, this society does not recognize the following. If you are a persistent, unrepentant felon. If you are a Satanist or Satan worshiper. So you, you, don't, you don't need to come over to this society. You already got your own, okay? You can stay there with the Rothschilds and the Rothschilds can have all the unrepentant felons they want. That's kind of their thing, right? If you're a member of the Illuminati or support it, you don't need to be over here. You can stay in the Illuminati. We would appreciate it. If you're an abortion advocate or abortionist, if you want to continue murdering and killing babies, don't come here. You, you're fine right there under the Rothschilds. They love it when you kill babies. The more people you kill, the more property and real estate they can get. Okay. Um, so don't bother coming here. If you're a pedophile. Okay. If you're a pedophile, if you advocate for Sharia law, Hinduism, Buddhism, or any idol worship of any kind, if you advocate for socialism or communism, if you advocate for gender neutral pronouns or political correctness or me too, you guys got your own society. You're good. You can stay right there with the Rothschilds, all you guys, right there with them, and they'll take care of you. Don't worry. If you advocate for Noahide laws, which is customs and traditions over the years that were added without authority. If you advocate for no gun rights, stay where you are. Don't worry about it. We won't bother you. Believe me. We won't bother you at all. We do promote the following. The society recognizes marriage between a man and a woman in two genders. That's it. We're not going to play around with this other crap, okay, this craziness. We promote homeschooling. We promote private property ownership. Uh-oh, those, those crazy republics. All right. This society has seven basic laws. Do not worship idols. Marry to have children. Do not commit adultery. Do not consume blood. Do not steal. Do not murder. Do not bear false witness. And this is the explanation as to where this came from all of the research as to where it came from and that these are the original seven laws that we're supposed to be following. Okie dokie. So we got that here. I think I know why I didn't have that link. Um, the link is not there because over here is the website. If you want to join. Uh, 
Uh, this is where you can register here. Okay. This is a social compact agreement. And this is where the citizen registration form is here. Um, that's where you can register. And this is the social compact agreement that you have to uh, uh, sign before you can do this. So that's the only thing that makes it legal. And that would be right here. You're welcome to read it. Now please convene the following website after signing. Now you don't have to do that. Um, and this is the same thing. Okay, that's coming soon. Um, this is the same thing that was written in the newspaper, just copied and pasted. Click on this link to fill out and submit the social compact agreement. We got that here. That's Here's the articles. You can read it. And you do your religious preference. And you can sign it here. Okay. Uh, there's either affirmed American national. It can be declared resident. Um, just do a declared resident on it. That's it's fine. It doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll change this form a little bit or just a uh, citizen. I might, I'll, I'll go ahead and put this, I'll change this before I get it to get this uh, video published. Okay. Here, here's, please explain any felony here. Cause you know, sometimes these are all, so people get messed over in care of your address. You can do a NAC or a zip code, current email, phone number. Uh, yes, I intend to become a citizen. No, I intend to create another society. You can do that. I forever hold harmless the states of the Union Society from any and all liabilities. That's that right there. Click yes. And this is where you sign this. And then, or you can upload your signature. And please verify that you're human. And that's basically it. You print this form out, or you fill out this form, and we'll get a hold of you. <clears throat> Uh, we'll need some coordinators in certain states if they want to uh, coordinate this. And what you do is you'll have access to the state NAC code or address, the original state. You'll have access to the chapter of the political party, which is the North American National Party. And we have over, we have over 50 chapters all around the uh, country. So you have your own political party. Uh, you'll have the constitution. So you can go ahead and, and uh, uh, have your elections by December 1st. You have money, which is uh, the continental dollar. It's our national currency. This is what you were supposed to do. Why hire a bank? Why hire the Rothschilds to print your money and loan it back to you at interest? Kind of stupid, isn't it? So we came back to the... Uh, um, we came back to the continental dollar. So everybody can open up under this society. The police unions have no contracts with us. So they don't have jurisdiction over us. So they're done. No longer support this crap. That's how you get it done, folks. And then you start having uh, your own elections by December 1st. If you have a majority of the people in your town has an election, under your new charter or your new, uh, I'm sorry, constitution, their constitution gone. They're out of there. Their municipalities out of there. Nobody's supporting it anymore. No more United Nations, um, uh, United Nations agencies and all the municipalities and shit all run by the, uh, Pope nut job over there that wants to be president of the world. So it's all set up for you and, and, uh, just waiting for you to come on in. So like I said, I'll go ahead and change this bilateral social compact here uh, to citizen. And that will, that's what that means. It'll be citizen of the, uh, uh, or I'll put society citizen. And that lets us know what you want to do. So it'll be here inst inst instead of declared resident, I'll put another one that says society citizen. Okay. So that will be done for you. And I'm going to add one more thing into this. This is something that we did quite a long time ago. Okay. You won't have to do a, a resident declaration within uh, or through this government. The only way you want to do that is if you want to become a national. In other words, you want to claim your nationality, you can do that. But uh, um, you can stay, uh, if you sign a social compact 
and <clears throat> you uh, uh, fill out that form, you'll have your citizen status within, uh, uh, with under that constitution and under that society. Okay. Now, this is the Declaration of Rights for the United States of America. We need to update the, this was done in 2014, so we needed to update the seal. That's about it. United States of America, it's heirs, successors, assigns, and claimants. That was us, claimants. Uh, here and after the original union, hereby declare the following rights. And it's heirs, successors, and assigns would be everybody that was within the states of the union uh, back in the day. Uh, before the U U.S. came in and created their own society and tried to uh, take over those states and create, put, uh, you know, put colonies back into the states again. <clears throat> so this doesn't mean that you have one person is a, um, inherits the whole country. That's not what that means. That was misinterpreted. Okay, the perpetuity of the original union, having been abandoned by the original states, the original union reverted back to the people, and therefore the original union is now a union of people known as American nationals on the 233 years, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the 233 year old government and political organization that has the right of the effective exercise of separate and equal station. It says, declares the right that international law is the standard of conduct of nations and their reciprocal relations written in the law of nations. The original union declares the right of international order, which consists essentially of the respect for the character, sovereignty, and independence of nations, and the faithful fulfillment of obligations derived from the treaties and other sources of international law. The original union declares the right of good faith that shall govern the relations between nations and this goes on okay these are different rights that were or were claimed and you're welcome to adopt them within your society the society will be all put together for you it's all done right now so if you want to do your own you can once you realize how that all works out this was done on may 7th 2014 as a host of the uh, exec ex executed by the host of the Committee for the Government of the United States of America, 1781, the present day. Okay. Now, keep in mind, it's heirs, successors, assigned, and claimants. That means um, all the people that were original state union union members, um, because the. Uh, uh, the United States of America originally was a union. That's what it is. It was a confederacy. <clears throat> so that's why we wrote it that way. Part of the union, which is the 1774 union. This doesn't mean that a person can inherit the country. One person can inherit the country. That doesn't work that way. Okay. This was dealing with the union at the time. This was done in 2014. So this was the government of the United States of America setting up the union part of it. Okay. What we did was we took the articles of confederation and then we just made the United States of America, its own country. It, it took the, what the States had given it before, which was representation authority to other countries. And then we just took it as a, we made it a country because no one else was there. No one else wanted it. And that's what we did, okay? And we, we moved the Union over to and under the Charter of the American Continent. All right, so that's what this deals with. These are just uh, uh, specific rights. We also have, um, it was rights for the residents and nationals. Or I'm saying it was residents. Okay, found what I was looking for. This is the other that uh, uh, we're going to be adopting for these, uh, the society. The great and essential principles of liberty and freedom may be recognized and established. The people for the United States of America declare the essential rights and liberty for the resident and the American national for the government of the United States or for the United States of America for commerce and trade within the meets and bounds of a republic form of government. 
Okay, so this was amended again on uh, 2017, that all people, I'll just give you an idea. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but uh, that all people for the United States of America, when they form a social compact, are equal and have certain inherent and indefeasible immunities against their other independent states, among which are those of enjoying and defending life and liberty, of acquiring, possessing, and protecting property and reputation, and of pursuing their own happiness that all political powers inherent in the people for the United States of America and all republics are founded on their authority and established for their benefit. And therefore they have at all times an unalienable and defeasible right to alter or abolish their former government in such manner as they may deem expedient. So this is going to be attached to the society constitution and it goes on uh, for quite a while. There are a lot of rights here. This is where the problems have come in. The people uh, here have not, uh, the inhabitants, you just became inhabitants because you have not claimed any rights. You haven't signed anything. You think that the, the Bill of Rights is the, those rights. And no, those are restrictions and that's it. They're not rights for you. They're restrictions on somebody else, which has, through interpretation, gotten rid of all, their, uh, all of their own restrictions. As you can see, they got around them. So that's not how this works. You have to reserve rights of your own. And you can't just reserve all rights. That's not what happens. It doesn't work that way. Okay. So there you go. <clears throat> and uh, this particular document is going to be um, attached to that constitution. So we're, we're doing what we can for people, for the U.S. citizens. We're not stealing them or anything. We're just formed a society for them. So first we can get rid of, a, uh, we, can, we can free a lot of people. And second, uh, uh, we get a, a, a lot of the uh, um, education that we have starts coming in to those societies. And uh, a lot of things you'll be learning. It's an unbelievable amount of stuff that you'll learn also in going through this. And the more that we come out, with that light, the more darkness you'll see with the over the Rothschild society. You'll see how bad it is from when you see it from an outside point of view. It's horrible, folks. The U.S. looks absolutely horrible. And the things that they do to people, the things that they say. Um, I'll just give you an example, and I'm going to go ahead and end this show. Uh, there was a, a comedian in England. And he was on UK TV. This was, I don't know, eight to 10 years ago. And he was going to read how many people were sitting in jail over here. And that's because of the lawyers. This is all it is. It's because of the American uh, Bar Association. It works for the Rothschilds, just letting you know. And um, he was starting to read it, you know, and he was going to make jokes about because there was like six or eight million people in jail. And he starts reading it and going on, he goes, whoa, what? And everybody just kind of got quiet. He says, what am I writing, reading here? I was going to make some jokes about this, but this is actually pretty serious. How come there are that many people sitting in jail in one country? There are more people in jail in this country than there are combined in a, another 209 countries. More people in jail here. It's horrible what's, what's going on in this country. And everybody seems to think that they, you know, uh, that the, the country is great and they have freedom and everything. It's the most oppressed country in the world. It's worse than China right now. So an on, the only way to stop this stuff is to stop supporting that society that is oppressing you and go into a new one. And what we're doing is we're delivering that society to you. You're free to join it. And uh, nobody's asking for an oath and affirmation. You can operate just like you do now, but you have a social compact. You'll have these declaration of rights um, and the union is there. So for you'll have access to the new money, uh, debt-free, interest-free, it's all debt-free. Uh, you can earn it and, and move on from there. We have the banking, we have all that stuff in place uh, to form this country into something that doesn't, it, it's not disgusting. And really all it comes down to is do you want that kind of change? Stop fighting that other society. The only power you actually have 
with people that have a lot bigger guns than you do is to withhold. Don't support it anymore. That's how it operates. And I'm telling you, the Trump family is willing, is, is, um, is uh, welcome to come over. Anybody that wants to clean up their life, anybody that wants to stop this crap that's going on, that doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. And the people that want to change and do what's right and not live in a world where they're torturing and killing and, and, and a, the only baby's defense is to push away a doctor, a doctor's hand. That's sad. The only defense he's got, he or she. That's sad. Being attacked by people, punks and cowards. Okay? So I don't want to get too far into that because it starts making me angry. So what I'm saying is if you don't want to be associated with that, you want to live in a clean society, this is it. This is your chance. This comes once in a lifetime. It's actually come once in the 240 years. 200, over 240 years. And it's here and it's now. And the window of opportunity will be there as long as the people that are living that created it and know how to keep them going are here. Until that, the opportunity ends. Okay? So if you want your chip and all that stuff because you're too lazy to go get your Twinkies and pick up a dollar and put it in there, or you're, you stupidly think that there's a virus on, on paper money, go for it. We'll have paper money over here. And if you want, we'll go ahead and put it through ultraviolet light. You can put it under ultraviolet light if you want. I mean, if you want to get that stupid. It's ridiculous, by the way. They got your head messed up, guys. And uh, there's a way out. So the website is AmericanNationalUnion.com forward slash society. You can start there, but before you sign or fill out that registration form, you can go into the website. You can become a member there, but it doesn't mean that you're a citizen yet. Um, and I'll put a link on there for the Constitution. You're welcome to read the Constitution. It's already published. I just have to go find it and put a link on there. So <clears throat> there you go. And uh, you've, got, you've got a way out. A way out, out of everything. You have an alternative and you have a choice. Thanks for listening to the 173rd broadcast of the T-Row Show. I will see you guys next week.